Imagine buying some property to turn it into an investment that would help pay for your children's college only to find out the buildings are set to be torn down. That's exactly what one Butler County family is going through. Local 12's Christian Hauser joins us live in Hamilton with their story and the positive outcome for now. Your heart just breaks for this family. They put a lot of money on the line. Yeah, I mean, you really can't imagine buying this and then learning that it's set to be torn down by the city. Now, the house that we're talking about is the one here behind me. This is at the corner of Central and Hanover Street. And if you actually take a look over here to my left, you can actually see that demolition crews had already been out here, started to dare tear down some of the property. But while me and my photographer were here, the workers actually stopped and called it a day. The building was saved and a family will get a chance to renovate it after all. The city says that this is an example of needing to do your research before buying a quote as is property, but the owners say they did everything they should have. Norman Sosa and his wife bought this property on Central Avenue as an investment to help pay for their children's college. It's been an emotional roller coaster since we found out. Uh, my, fam my, my wife and I, we're doing it for our kids now that we're a, a firm that just works on properties. It had been the Jane and Bar from the 1970s until the 1990s. Our plan is to uh, remodel it, uh, get a zone from commercial to uh, residential if possible. Sosa says they bought the property and another one on Sycamore Street at a sheriff's sale in October. What they didn't know is that the building had been declared a nuisance and scheduled for demolition this morning. I talked with Tom Vanderhorst from the city. He says the Sosas, and really anyone buying a property at a sheriff's sale, needs to do their due diligence and do a title search of any property before buying it. He went on to tell me the city would work with Sosa, and as long as he shows good faith in rehabbing the property, the building will not be torn down. I was able to share the good news with Sosa. We came here this morning and noticed that the fence is down, the shed is gone, the oil tank for the furnace is gone. They were getting ready to tear it down this morning, but apparently war got out and, and thank God they are working with us. He's thankful they have the chance to renovate the building, but he thinks more should be done to make buyers aware of issues like this. They decided that we're going to demo it on June, uh, the house all in October. So there were several months that they could have made it aware. So, so we'll need to get a zoning change to turn the building into rental housing units. But right now, he's just glad he's got the chance. Now, I asked Tom Vanderhorst with the city if it would consider adding information like demolition orders to this property behind me or other things like leads to the description when these properties go up for sale at a sheriff's auction, but so far have not heard back. Now, in talking with Vanderhorst, he tells me it is in the city's best interest financially and otherwise to keep properties intact and have a private uh, private citizen, private company renovate them. But at a certain point, they just become a danger to the neighborhood and they must be torn down. But at least here, it looks like we have the start of a happy ending. For now, live in Hamilton, Christian Hauser, Local 12 News. All right, thank you, Christian. Yeah, people should understand what they're getting into. It wouldn't be bad if they had to sign something just that they're understanding. All right, well, and if you are looking at buying a property and turning it into housing, the city of Hamilton has a portal that you can use to see what any given property can be used for, whether it's commercial or residential.